Yo guys, what is going on? Today, I actually have a video that I'm kind of going to remake and re-explain. A while back, I made a video basically telling you guys how to improve your ping in CSGO. Well, as I've been playing more and actually just learning a lot more things in general, not only about CSGO, but about a lot of other computer-related things, I realized there's some things in that video that are a little bit inaccurate and not completely described accurately. So, today, I'm basically going to go ahead and remake that video. I'm going to show you guys how you can possibly improve your ping and connection in CSGO to get the best possible matchmaking experience. Also guys too, I do want to mention real fast, only about 6% of you guys who actually watch my videos are subscribed. So you know, if you're enjoying the videos and you'd like to see more and maybe even see me live stream, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button, it would really help me out. And if you're feeling extra nice, make sure you click that little bell icon too and make sure notifications are turned on. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Now first things first, I'm going to state the most obvious point and that is sometimes your internet service that is being provided to you by the company that you pay for is just straight up not fast enough or doesn't have enough potential to just smoothly run games. One site that I really like to use just to test out and see how fast my internet speed is, but also how well it's performing, is to use this site right here, which is speedtest.net. Basically, what this is going to do is when you click go, it's going to go ahead and scan your internet service, and it's basically going to tell you how fast it is, but not only that, also it's going to tell you your upload and download speeds. Now, as you guys are going to see right here, I just went ahead and clicked the go button, and this is basically going to start scanning my entire service. And as you can see here, it's basically estimated my ping already, and right now it's estimating my download speed. It's basically scanning this to get an idea of how fast it is. And once that's complete, it gives me an average and then moves on to upload speed. Now, right here are my final results. As you guys can see, my ping or my MS is 15. My download speed is approximately 94 megabits per second. And my upload speed is approximately 11.76 megabits per second. Now, like I said, depending on your internet service provider and also your location to the servers, all of those things are gonna affect how fast your ping, your download and your upload speeds are. Don't take mine as a basis to what yours should be. Again, this is always going to be different and it's dependent on a lot of different things. What we do want to keep in mind here right now though is our ping. Our ping right now, at least my ping, is 15 MS, which is actually not bad. That's about the fastest that I'm going to be able to get in CSGO no matter what. Now, one thing I completely forgot to explain in the last video is your ping right here, your MS rating right here. This is not accurate to what you're going to experience in CSGO. CSGO servers come from all over the world and sometimes it might not put you on the best connection. That's just how CSGO works and we're actually going to take a look at a setting in game that's going to help you solve this problem here in just a little bit but i do just want to clear that up for you guys your ping your ms rating right here for example mine which is 15 this is not an accurate representation of how your ping is going to work in game all this is stating right here is probably the best connection you can get if the servers are in the most ideal location now before we also do hop into csgo real fast there is one thing that i do want to mention that's not only going to help reduce a little bit of stuttering and internet lag but is also going to help free up more of your internet service to be pushed into csgo and for csgo to utilize instead of all of your background processes taking it up. Thus, this may possibly actually decrease your ping. If you guys go into the search bar and type in task manager, you should only have to type up task and it should pop up. It's going to go ahead and open up this window. And if you come up here to the performance tab and then click open resource monitor, this page, while it's going to look very confusing at first, is basically going to scan all of your service and actually tell you how much network activity each of these services is taking. As you guys can see here at this second, none of my services are actually taking very much data. As it's loading every program and running on the background, you guys can see that it's basically telling you how much of your network and how much of your speed it's utilizing. What I love about this is it tells you which programs you can actually close out of on your computer, whether the background processes or not, in order to help improve your internet connection in the instance that it's not going to be taking up all of the bandwidth that you have available. Yes, bandwidth is limited if you guys didn't know, and closing out some of these unnecessary background programs is actually going to help increase the amount of bandwidth that's going around for all applications that you're using, for instance CSGO, to help make your gaming experience and internet connection more smooth. Now coming back into CSGO, there's one really big big thing that I actually completely forgot to mention in the first video I did and that is if you go into your settings click game settings and take a look at the max acceptable matchmaking ping now you can lower this as much as you want the minimum value here is 25 I normally average between 25 and 35 when I'm just playing by myself with nothing else running on my computer, no streams going, no recording software is nothing. What this setting's basically going to do is it's going to tell my game, choose the lowest possible ping servers first. So that means while your search for a competitive game, for example, might take a little bit longer, it's going to try its best to find the lowest possible ping, aka the server closest to you, the server that you're going to have the best connection to, to allow your experience to be as smooth as possible. I've seen some people have this set upwards of 100 and 150 
150 at max and that means whenever your connection is bad or whenever people in your area are utilizing the same connection or if your internet just or if your internet speed isn't as fast as possible to help put you in a game quicker it's actually going to put you in a higher matchmaking ping server this is why this setting is really important right here and this is why you need to lower it ideally as much as you possibly can now as you guys saw before i most of the time keep mine right around 40. i think 40 is a great sweet spot to play around like i said though if you can go lower definitely go lower don't be afraid to set the slider all the way to its minimum it will warn you when you are searching for a game for example if the minimum matchmaking ping is only 35 but you have it set to 25 it will let you know so it's not going to harm your computer if you do set it lower but overall this is just a super important setting to set make sure you guys take a look at this and lower it to ideally as much as you can now again going back to my desktop i'm kind of putting this video in a weird order so i'm sorry if i'm confusing some of you guys because of this but another thing i want to talk about that could possibly also help your connection in csgo help improve your ping to servers is putting in a specific line of startup commands when you start up CSGO. For those of you guys who don't know, if you go into your Steam application, find CSGO, right click on it and click properties. And if you come down here under the general tab to where it says set launch options and click on this, you guys can see that there's actually a box that comes up here. Now this box pretty much has the exact same purpose of the in-game console. And that is to put commands for CSGO to execute. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna execute these commands as soon as it starts up and it's gonna execute them every time it starts up until you erase these commands. Now I have a specific list of commands that we're going to start executing every time you open up CSGO. Now down in the description these commands are listed so all you guys have to do is copy and paste them like I have right now. Once you copy them hit Control V on your keyboard to paste it and you guys are going to see that it's just going to basically put that exact same string of commands that's in the description into your box right here. Now I'm not going to go through and take the time to explain what each and every single one of these commands does because it is a little bit time consuming but basically this is just a string of a couple different commands that you could either take the time to put into your console in game or just do it right here on startup every time your csgo starts up and it's going to basically force csgo to run the smoothest try to find the smoothest connections to the closest servers to where you're located and all of this stuff that's just going to overall help make your matchmaking connection experience a lot smoother anyways once you have those all copy and paste it in there you can go ahead and click ok and you're all set to go other than that though guys that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video so i do hope you guys enjoyed i hope i was able to help you guys out and if i did make sure you guys do smash the like button and subscribe if you are new also if you guys do any questions or comments or need a little bit of help trying to figure out your internet problems in csgo or just any problems on your computer in general i'll try my best to be able to help you guys out you guys can leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below or hit me up on discord my server is linked down in the description below also guys too i do want to mention real fast only about six percent of you guys who actually watch my videos are subscribed so you know if you're enjoying the videos and you'd like to see more and maybe even see me live stream make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button it would really help me out and if you're feeling extra nice make sure you click that little bell icon too and make sure notifications are turned on and with all that said again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace what you think we came here for i want to see you dancing moving moving like your pants oh what you waiting for what you think we came here for i want to see you dancing moving moving like your pants oh hold up my flow nuts y'all kids just lames and bow guts put your baby ass here